Hi guys, it's me again. So once you have your template of the side printed out and taped together, you can see I've overlapped it so everything lines up nicely. I've got some line, extra lines that I've drawn onto my template to make my life easier when I want to transfer it onto my piece of wood or MDF in my case. I'm using half inch thick MDF, which is the same as what we have on the plans here. From here to here, that's half an inch. That's the area that's going here. You'll see that on one of these ones here that's almost finished. By the end of this, we should have our blocks mounted on here, like in the drawing. So we need to add all of our lines, leave a half inch space for the material, in this case, the control panel, and the block needs to support it. Now I'm choosing to do three quarters of an inch thick square blocks, just because they're strong. This is pine, so it can break if you're a little bit rough with it, but it works fine for this. One trick that has worked well for me using these plans, so I'll take a ruler and I can measure from the end of the paper down to maybe where a line starts. See it here? That's for where my monitor is going to be mounted. And I can measure the distance. I can then transfer that, the ruler again, measuring from here all the way over. I make a little mark. You can look really closely. There's a very small mark right here where it lines up. I've erased the line just to keep it looking nice all the way up to here. To get the thickness, I can just take another piece of half inch MDF, trace it onto the line. Let's see, I've already done it on this one. I go here. And then my little placement blocks, they're gonna get glued in behind, okay? This is what it looks like when it's actually finished and on here. So I have my lines, it's half an inch wide, and my block is gonna go here to support my monitor. Here you can see that's going to be for the front control panel, top control panel. This one down here, that's just to help glue the side and the bottom pieces together. You can see it here also on the back. I've got pieces here for holding my lower marquee, my front marquee. I've got a section here for holding up my door. A section here for gluing on my top. And the whole time, you can see, at least it's pretty close, half inch wide here, and then I put my three quarter inch block behind it. Yeah. On some areas, I've reinforced some of these, uh, some extra stuff. This is actually to prevent my T-nuts from falling in and out. This way there's no chance for the T-nut to come dislodged and fall up or get too tight down there. This part is used to actually hold on the marquee, which I've made in one solid piece right now. There's one bolt there going all the way through. That holds it up. There's one on the other side as well. That is how I'm holding on the monitor mount. That's all back here as well. So you can see again, I have a very small piece of wood here to prevent that T-nut from falling out. I've done that behind all my stuff. This one's almost complete. You might recognize these from the first video. So I started with that green one made a nice yellow one and my favorite new one is down here this one I've added T molding all the way around and again it's the half inch MDF just using the simple steps from the video the marquee this is all one piece that I've glued together now one two so that's turned into what two pieces glued together and again all held together with those T nuts just behind they go into those support blocks like, subscribe. Please ask me any questions. I do my best to answer all your comments. Cheers.